a 911 telecommunicator to me is the voice, the calm voice in the storm. And they're the everyday, all day conductor or maestro of emergency response. They are the people that answer the phone when you call 911 and the people who put us in motion to come and see when you need us. Uh, they're our, our lifeline to the people that are calling in for help, calling in for services. They're our gatekeepers to the 911 system, to the, to the emergency service system, so we can come help people. I can tell you that a 911 telecommunicator to me is someone that takes their job very seriously in helping us do our jobs and not just us helping medical, fire, they're the ones that put all the pieces in place. A 911 telecommunicator to me is a critical link between the person calling that needs our help and us out on the streets. Someone who brings calm to chaos. Ooh, that's a tough question. I would say that the hardest part is trying to figure out all of the organization, all the communication between different agencies and different uh, people doing different functions of the job and relaying that information effectively. I don't think there's any guess to this. This has to be workload. Um, you know, we go to one call at a time and uh, the dispatchers and the telecommunicators are sitting there talking to multiple people. I think the hardest part about being a telecommunicator is the lack of understanding um, of the job to everyone outside the communications bubble. Um, when they take the call, they, they hear people in dire straits. I mean, they're anxious, they're panicked. Um, they're probably having the worst day of their lives. And um, I think that has more impact on them than most people know. Having to listen to what's happening at the incident without really being able to do anything other than get units there and then not really getting a follow-up for how a patient may or may not have um, ended up. I, I'm wondering if what the hardest thing might be not, not knowing the outcomes oftentimes because I think call takers, they get thrust into these situations where everything's occurring and they're, they're orchestrating you know, getting resources there and capturing information and guiding people through what to do. But then at some point in time, the, they have to hang the phone up. I was a dispatcher quite a few years ago. I think Fred Flintstone was still in high school when I was there. But I do remember that the hardest part of the job was hearing things that I could never unhear. One word, I'd say saviors. Devoted. Courageous. One word to describe a 911 telecommunicator would probably be dedicated. I, I couldn't come up with, with one word, but um, I came up with three. Cool, calm, and collected. Indisposable. One word to describe a 911 telecommunicator would be essential. Amazing got just the perfect word. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Empathetic. Uh, calm. Multitasker. I would say um, helpful. Very helpful. Uh, one word to describe a 911 telecommunicator to me would be hero. Heroic. Heroes. Heroes. I could only come up with two. Unsung heroes. Superheroes. Thank you to all you telecommunicators that show up every day and put in your best effort. I just wanted to say thank you for the job that you do. You guys are the unsung heroes uh, in our community um, for the, the service you're providing to the citizens. And not a lot of people ever get a chance to thank you in person. So I just want to say thank you.
I just want to take a moment to thank all of the telecommunication professionals that we work with for everything that you do day in and day out. It's a oftentimes thankless job, it's a critical job, uh, and it's a job that it's very difficult to find somebody willing to take that responsibility on, that stress on, and do what you do. We could not do our jobs without you. We're very grateful to have you out there and keep up the good work. You are a special and talented group of first responders who do not receive the recognition that you deserve. Thank you for your contributions to the public safety solution in your jurisdiction. And please know that our communities are safer due to your work. We truly appreciate all the work that you do behind the scenes to make our calls go well. And thank you for all those times that no one says thank you to you. Yeah, I, I can't say enough how much we on the front lines appreciate all the work that our call takers and dispatchers and supervisors do behind the scenes. We really couldn't do our job without the support that you provide for us. And so on behalf of all of the first responders out there, thank you very much. The work that you do is not always easy, but you make it look easy every single day. Thank you for everything you do under such immense pressure. I just want to say thank you for the support you provide to the community and the police department. I very much appreciate all of what you do for us. Um, you tell us where to go over and over again, and, and without your help, we could never do our job. And I just want to say thank you. I want to give a shout out to my telecommunicators on night shift. They always ensure that I'm safe and my partners are safe and they do an absolute amazing job to the best of their abilities every night. So from the bottom of my heart, um, I just want to say thank you for keeping us safe. Thanks guys.